What's going on, Fight Fans? This is your boy, Ak. And I'm Barack the Boxing Bully. And it looks like boxing fans are going to have an amazing Christmas, the 23rd of December, in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. It's going down. It's a heavyweight showdown. You got the biggest names in the sport, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Hold on. Relax. They're not fighting each other, but they're on the same fight card. That's right. Look, let's break down the fights. Let's start off with Big Baby Miller. Here's a fighter that was supposed to fight Anthony Joshua back in New York once upon a time and was replaced by Andy Ruiz. We all saw what happened then. Barack, he's getting an opportunity to be back in the ring. You know, one thing about animosity, sometimes it doesn't go away. You know, it's still there. Big Baby Miller, it's the return. He failed drug tests, been out for a while had time to, you know, get his mental straight, and now he's back on a war path. But he didn't just come back and fight, you know, a gimme fight. Yeah. This is a real, real fight. Daniel Dubois, he had great fights before this, lost one fight because of a, a, a broken eye socket. So this is a test for him. Yeah, that's right, but he's also still thinking ahead or looking ahead in the press conference. He had a lot to say about Anthony Joshua. Still a lot of animosity there, so that's a potential fight down the line that can actually happen. But Big Ribbon Miller has to show that he belongs in those divisions with the elite. Remember, he hasn't been in an elite fight yet. Right, Anthony right. Joshua was his first elite opponent. So mm -hmm. Dubois, I think it's a real test. If he shines against Dubois, which is not going to be easy, I think that we need to start having those conversations where maybe they can eventually get in the ring. Yeah, absolutely. And we don't want to make this big baby centered because he's the American, because Dan du Dubois, this is, first of all, this is actually both of their opportunity. Just like Canelo was on, on the undercard of Floyd Mayweather. Well, now these two guys are on the undercard of the biggest heavyweight showdown of the year. But so somebody got to perform well and possibly get that shot with either Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua. That's a great fight, but that's not the co-main event. Guess what? The one hit of quitter, Deontay Wilder, is back in the ring against a former world champion in Joseph Parker, who has boxing ability, has power, has footwork. So if anybody can give Deontay problems, he's the guy. But Will he be able to take Deontay's right hand if it lands? It seems like nobody could take that. Maybe Fury <laughs> escaped it a few times, you know, but I just think that Parker has a lot to prove right now. You know, he's in the camp with guys like Tyson Fury, giving him encouragement, giving him inspiration, and he has a couple of losses. He needs to rectify that, but he's in with the most dangerous heavyweight, you know, probably of all time. Yeah, probably, but listen, Deontay Wilder has something to prove as well. He's not getting any younger, right? And we know he has the power, but he lacks, at least in some fight, has lacked some boxing ability. But Malik Scott has been doing a phenomenal job with him, so he's looking better every fight. But a lot of times, uh, especially his last fight, he didn't get an opportunity to show what he's learned in the ring because he ended the fight so quickly. But I think he's going to have a real test against Joseph Parker. So there's pressure on, on Deontay Wilder. Guess why? because everybody still wants to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on Deontay Wilder to shine and knock Joseph Parker out. I think Deontay takes pressure very, very well. And listen, you don't get paid for overtime, as fighters always say. So a first round knockout, who cares? It doesn't matter as long as you've been in that gym for months and months. And in reality, Deontay Wilder has probably been in the gym for a couple of years now, fine tuning his skill with Malik Scott. You see all of these videos they're putting out. Not only that, like, he's a guy that's never out of shape, right? Deontay has that fast metabolism. He stays slim. No, don't blame it on... Stop, stop. You just... <laughs> fast metabolism. No, no, no. He works out He does hard. put in the work, yeah. Anybody who's in shape, he says he has a fast metabolism to say that, oh, that's why I'm not ripped up. No, stop it. <laughs> well, look, outside of that fight, which is going to be super exciting because everybody's going to be on the edge of their seat to see if Joseph Park can take Deontay Wilder's right hand, we got the big man, A.J., fighting against the most dangerous fighter on the card outside of Deontay Wilder in terms of skill and trickiness. We all saw what Arthur Arlene did against Tyson Fury, the 6'9 giant. And oftentimes, Barack, again, AJ doesn't get the credit for the opponents that he fights. Because Arthur is not a big name, right. people are looking past it, but he's a very dangerous fighter. And AJ's been dealing with this his entire career. There's nothing worse to a heavyweight fighter than a left-handed heavyweight fighter. And that's what you have with Arthur Arlene. And yes, he had a good, listen, he's a small guy. He's a small guy. And look what he did to Tyson Fury. So he hung in there. Tyson Fury was able to bully him a little bit, but gave him a, a, a legal cut above his eye. It could have even been stopped. So we could have had Otto Valin as the lineal heavyweight champion. Very true. Look, 
I'm excited about AJ's energy. At the press conference, we saw Big Baby Miller talking smack, but we all saw AJ's energy towards him. I like that energy. Right. We got that vicious AJ. Even He didn't even give Deontay Wilder the energy that I thought he would give him and reciprocate when he said, I wish you the best. He had this stone cold look on his face like he means business. He doesn't want to be friendly. He learned his lessons against Andy Ruiz on fight week. This dude means business. I don't know if it's a little bit of uh, Texas, <laughs> you know, and Derek yeah. James and those guys and being around Spencer and those guys, whatever it is, it's working. I like AJ's energy. We're not going to give you any predictions for this one. Let's wait till December, fight week. You, we know he doesn't give predictions, but I'm going to give my predictions in Riyadh. That's right. Which you, his predictions never really matter anyway. He loses most of people their money. But I, I think that's perfect the way Deontay Wilder is acting because he doesn't need aggression. He doesn't need to be upset. He just needs that... <laughs> You know, that hammer. But when it comes to Anthony Joshua, maybe that's the mentality he needs to be in. That's right. He needs to be psyched up like, listen, there's no friends here. I'm here to win. I know what this really means. Everybody wants me to get past Otto Valin. Everybody wants you, Deontay, to get past Joseph that's Parker right. so that we can meet with each other. So I can't be nice to you right now. And like, I'm predicting that that happens. This is just the beginning of something special. This is a historic card, no question about it the 23rd of December, but people are looking ahead because we will see a showdown between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder down the line, but make sure you get your don't be credit so, cards don't be so ready. Quick. Hold up, hold up. Get your credit cards ready to order the fight on the 23rd. We also have a bonus for you guys. One of the best fighters in the world, Demetri Bavol, is back. I think they should be there. I, I think you should be in attendance. Fly out there. All right, everybody can't afford to go out there. But get your <laughs> get your finger get your finger ready to, to order that. Order that pay-per-view. But yeah, Demetrius Bivol, the return of Demetrius Bivol against Lyndon Arthur. Now, Lyndon Arthur is a very skillful fighter. Bivol is pound for pound star. Obviously, we're thinking that he might win. But how can we afford to have all of these guys? Oh, it's not us. <laughs> it's, it's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> they can afford it. It's going to be an amazing card. We don't even have to keep selling it. It sells itself on the zone the 23rd of December. You can't miss this one.